Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a training enrollment tracker in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this training enrollment tracker. This is the dashboard page of this tracker wherein we are showing the gender, course and payment status as well as age slicer. Then we are showing few charts like enrollment count by gender. In the center of this chart, you can see the total enrollment. Here we are showing the enrollment count by payment status, paid, unpaid, and pending. And this is enrollment count by course. We have three courses, Advanced Excel, Data Analysis, and Excel Basics. So here we have given the number of enrollment here. And this is the enrollment count by month. You can see number of enrollment count by month. You can filter the data to see the information for male, female, then whole dashboard will be filtered or you can see the performance for any chart also let's say by month like here or similarly you can see by paid unpaid and the other information also and everything will be filtered to enter the data we have created a data entry form and here we have given three buttons add new record update record and delete record we are capturing here id first name last name email course and then here enrollment date payment status contact number is gender and the remarks if there is any remarks then you can enter the data using this button and you will see a new record here let me show you let's click on add new record this form will be popped up so you cannot make any entry manually we have protected that seed you can just input the first name so let's say i'm putting here First name is William John and email I am putting here William at the rate example.com course let's say I am selecting advanced excel enrollment date by default it will take today's date but you can change it using this calendar let's say I am saying enrollment date as 20th so it is taking 20th January okay now select the payment status so I am saying paid the contact number i'm just putting some dummy number here and the age let's say i'm putting the age as 34 then gender male and remarks i'm putting test remarks and submit and just close this form and here you can see the new record that is william and we can see the other information whatever we have entered is available if we come to the dashboard now we can see the enrollment count is 31 okay and we can see some other information is also changed now if you want to make any change in this you can just select that id and click on update record the whole information will be pre-filled in that form and now you can make the change let's say i'm saying it was not advanced excel it was data analysis now submit and just close so now this is the data analysis you can see in the course this one okay if you want to delete that record just click on the id of that record and say delete record that record is deleted from here and that will gone from here also so that is how you can create add and delete the record that is how you can insert update and delete the record and if you go to the list sheet here we have the list of courses so if you want to add the new course or new payment status or the gender you can change it so here on the list of course let's say i'm adding a new course that is sql and if i come to the data and you can see that new course is appearing here okay so you can manage these list from here now on the support sheet we have created few pivot table to create this dashboard and these pivot table is connected with this data all right so now let me show you the dashboard here if you see if i right click and go to the select data this is pivot table 4 by gender so here we can see this is the pivot table 4 this is by gender and we have simply taken here that is the gender and here we have taken any count okay and then we are showing the total here and similarly we have taken other pivot table once the pivot table is there you can simply click on insert and you can insert any chart like donor chart or any other chart 
then you can format this from the pivot chart analyze hide all buttons and you can further format this like we have done here if you want to learn more about the dashboard how we can create the dashboard from the pivot tables like this we have created you can join our udemy course and we have given the link in the video's description box to learn how we can use the excel for the data analysis purpose and how we can create the reports and dashboard using the pivot tables okay so we have created all the pivot tables from here and we have inserted the slicers also like we click on the any pivot table and you can insert the slicer for example i want to insert the slicer for payment status so it is inserted or you can insert the slicer for any other also from the pivot table analyze insert slicer and let's say i'm saying i want to insert the slicer for gender so that is there if i click that will be filtered all right and once you insert the slicer you can cut control x and you can come to the dashboard and you can paste them here okay so that is how we have created the slicers and we have created the charts also from the support sheet now i will show you the user form also so let's go to the developer tab and visual basic here we have the training enrollment form this form we have designed this is the calendar form i have already created the videos on this so how we can create the calendars and you can watch that watch those videos so what we have done we have integrated this calendar with this training enrollment form and here we have these text boxes first first name last name email and this is the combo box so you can take the combo box from here this is the combo box and this is the text box okay we have designed these all boxes now i will quickly show you the coding here so on the user form initialize first as the user form is initializing we are creating the list from the list sheet we have list sheet here this is the list sheet for the course payment status and gender so here you can see we are taking the course list this one and this is the payment status for the combo box one from the column a and this is combo box two from the column b and this is for the gender from the column c okay the default date on the text box four we are putting today's date date function here this is the text box four all right and then we are we have created these three combo boxes now i will show you the submit button also on the submit button first we are validating like you have in selected all the things here then what we are doing we are checking we are unprotecting that worksheet so the password of the protection of this worksheet is four time zero you can unprotect this sheet if you try to write anything it will not allow if you can unprotect from the review unprotect and the password is four time zero 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 enter so now you can change any information if you want to change it okay and so what we are doing here first we are unprotecting that worksheet the data worksheet then on the txt id we have a text box here that is txt id this one if this text box is blank then we are adding otherwise if it is not blank then we are updating the information we have taken one iro as long so now we are assigning the row number to the iro so if we are updating first what we are doing we are matching the id here using the match function so at which row that id is available that will be i row if we want to insert then the last row plus one will be our i row okay so in that case if we are adding so we have to add the id also so for to add the id we are taking the maximum value of this column and plus one this is what we are doing here from the column b till column a we are putting the values from different boxes like text box one two and the other here in the last we are applying the formatting so we are copying the entire row of a5 which is this one okay this row and we are pasting as format on the i row column okay then the command button to click which is the reset form this one this reset button here we are making all the boxes as blank and this is default date so we are using this command button underscore click and now here here we are refreshing the whole workbook that means all the pivots will be refreshed and dashboard also will be refreshed automatically once everything is entered then we are protecting this worksheet which is data sheet 
okay so this is what we are doing in these two buttons and we have created the sub procedures also here to assign here on these buttons the add new record we are just showing this form to delete the record we are just checking whether you have selected the id properly or not if you are selecting some other column like this and you click on the delete then it will show select the id to delete the record okay so these are the validations if everything is okay then it will unprotect the worksheet and delete the entire row of the active cell then refresh all dashboard and pivot tables and then it will protect this again and similarly for the update record it is checking the id is selected or not if it is selected it is opening this form and here in the txt id this text box it is filling the active cell dot value okay and it is making it visible active cell dot value that is whatever is the id there whatever is the id here it will fill that all right and once that id is filled here so we have put one code on the txt id change here so what it will do whatever id is there it will fetch the row number what is the row number of that id using the match function and it will fill back that all boxes like text box one and the other boxes from this sheet as such is the data sheet okay like this let's say i have selected this id number six just update so it will fill automatically whole information from excel cells all right so that is how we have created this and we have assigned all three these macros on these buttons here we have all these three update record and all three macros here just right click and assign macro and we have assigned the macro here like this okay so that is how we have created this training enrollment tracker in microsoft excel friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching